I crave and hope that your fellow Jamaicans become vaccinated so that we can return to normality and leverage the opportunities for income generation and economic development. As you see, Port Royal has lots to offer. We intend to have the official launch and opening of the port early next year to align with the return of the Marilla. We deem it fit to have the official activities during that call as it was the first ship to call ever at Port Royal in January 2020. During the first two calls, we gave priority to the residents of Port Royal. Um, we had vendors, craft and other types on the port. The fees were, wa fees were waived, so they were given pride of place position both on port and at Port Charles. And, um, we and, believe guests, and guests were able to walk through Port Royal, visit the shops and the bars. Unencumbered. And right, without any issues. And, and had a great experience. And they had a good experience. Fantastic experience. This can't is be the same for this one. This it, it won't be, as we know, due to COVID protocols and the guidelines set by the Ministry of Health and Wellness, where tours have to be facilitated within a controlled environment, similar to the model in Ocho Rios. And this is in an effort to protect the public as well as visitors, but just to ensure that we mitigate as best as we can against the risk of the spread of the COVID-19 virus. So again, we want to stress the importance of vaccination. Yes. It's, 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 it's really the preferred and the proven way for us to return to normalcy as soon as possible. And the whole experience is about engagement and interaction. And we would like to return to a time, just like when the first two ships came, where visitors can roam, interact, and engage, spend, conduct business as freely as they can. But as again, I mean, Port Royal, they could set the trend and become the first wholly vaccinated town in Jamaica. Yeah. And just to add, you know, Port Authority does not have any established shops. These are all pop-up shops that, come, that, that we have in place on a cruise ship day for the community. So, right so there, there are no established shops that we rent to anybody not e not even to persons outside of port royal yeah. well, in fact the pop-up shops we 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 collect a fee from persons mm -hmm. outside of port, port royal, royal while mm -hmm. the residents are giving them free mm -hmm. uh, it's also important to note that the cruise ships coming here um, they they come with a minimum 95% of the passengers vaccinated um, and the only reason why it's not 100% is to cater for children under 12 and a few persons who might have medical exemptions um, so the, the, the passengers and crew um, in fact the crew generally 100% vaccinated the passengers 95% um, but even with all of that we um, working with the Ministry of Health, we want to make sure that the general public is very well protected. Um, hence the reason for the restrictions and trying to maintain things in a controlled environment. Um, and it's for us to, as, as the local population now, to play our part. Um, and become vaccinated. Become vaccinated as well. Um, and as the COVID numbers decrease, yeah. I anticipate that yeah. it can open up a little more. A, bit, a little bit more. A little bit more. And you know, and Jamaicans can come like visitors and enjoy. Well, when you say open up, you mean for business here, right? For yes. corporate. Yes, or yes. even oh. the open up, uh, remove some of the restrictions. Restrictions and the, the, the for when the vessels where, are right, right. where the passengers can go and what and they can do. And interact and engage, right? Yes. So that we can, you know, we can promote more trade and commerce. That kind of robust activity that we saw with the initial two calls. I wanted to note though, even though the passengers that they come vaccinated are still required at times to be tested. Yeah. We have had a few um, recordings here. As you would have seen and heard, we have also have requests for wedding, which we facilitate. So we have private events, commercial events as well. So we have a nice person in the garden area. And, um, to the right of the terminal building, we have an open area that you can have events where they are able to have the Kingston Harbor as the backdrop. So there, we can have multiple events at one particular time, as well as we can have varying events. It's port is multifaceted; it can be transformed to accommodate almost anything. 
So okay. no location is complete without a selfie spot. We've seen this trend globally, globally, worldwide. And so we have a replica of a pirate ship here. This is so beautiful at night when 